Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. The latest hit piece is in from Rewriting Ripley, a website that has links to Disney. Is funded by Disney and has put out hit pieces of people who are critical of Disney. Well, here they are. They're putting out their hit piece on, oh my gosh, if you don't like Lord of the Rings, then you're an ist ism phobe. Oh, uh, so we're going to go through some of it. Not all of it. It says it's a 16 minute read. <laughs> I don't, I don't, no, uh, but let's see if they're 54 followers. Let's see if their 54 followers are interested in this video. So let's get into a couple of bits of it. Oh, discretion advised. Uh, East phobes. Oh my goodness me. Uh, <laughs> Amazon Studios is the Lord of the Rings. The Rings of Power has become the latest franchise to be targeted by far-right backlash over its diverse casting. No, it isn't. Uh, no, it isn't. There has been mention of the diverse casting uh but that was because it wasn't in tolkien's law and that's what people were questioning lots of different people from all different types of backgrounds as we're gonna see soon because they kind of fall over themselves when it comes to their own hit pieces they don't do their due diligence and they don't actually see whose channels they're targeting as an istophobe or an ism because they're stupid. No, it was criticized mainly because of its deviation from Tolkien's law, its creation of brand new characters for no reason, the incessant woke propaganda from the people who appeared in the show who couldn't themselves stop talking about diversity, race, etc etc so if they're talking about it why can't people respond to it i know crazy huh i know i know crazy isn't it on september the 7th oof the show's official twitter account tweeted their condemnation of relentless racism's treats harassments and abuses some of our castmates of Couleur are being subjected on a daily basis without showing a single solitary receipt. Which is weird because Disney were kind enough uh, to put together a nice little montage to go on Instagram for Moses Ingram before the release of Kenobi. But I guess uh, Amazon were too lazy and judging by the sets, the dialogue, and the acting in Rings of Power, I can see that to be true. They were too lazy to actually fake some receipts to put out there. So uh, the sources, trust me, bro. Their statement emphasized that Middle Earth is not all white. No, it isn't. It isn't all white, but certain areas that you've been changing were. But there are other areas which aren't, which you could have tapped into, but didn't. A response to racism claims that casting non-white actors to play Tolkien's iconic fantasy characters is appropriation of white European culture. Yeah? Well, if it is one way, and then you change it to be another way, and if I was, let's say, in South America, and I just, you know, implanted a before colonialism... If I just implanted a bunch of uh, Asians uh, and uh, let's say New Zealanders, yeah, go New Zealand and stuff like that. Wouldn't that be cultural appropriation? Have we seen Nordic law just ripped apart to be more diverse? And yet we see people complaining that uh, there shouldn't be any changes done to places like Wakanda as if they themselves think that Africa is just purely made of black people, isn't that in, in itself racist? Or at least, at the very least, being kind to them, ignorant as fuck. You see how easy it is to play these games, particularly when you're dealing with really stupid people that stink of cat piss. Oh, now then, let's scroll down to here, because this is this is stupid you can see moses ingram blah 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 
most words used in tweets featuring Lord of the Rings' is rangs of power. This is from the 7th of September to the 8th of September. Such words as people and said and cast and love and watch and great and shit <laughs> and nothing and problem and character and actually what is this nonsense nonsense most words used in treat tr uh, tw treats mm, featuring star wars people like racist characters <laughs> is showing that the characters in star wars are racist gotcha okay <laughs> good one furthermore the sources connected to the harassment against people of couleur in ranks of power cast in ingram are the same the sources who are the sources there's been no sources and there's been no proof of any sort of harassment other than three unspecified uh tweets emails comments that was given to moses ingram and goose egg on lord of the Rings side so how can you extrapolate that you fucking dipshits jeez this is this is pathetic this is neurosis you talk about oh yeah people that like criticize tv and films they need to go outside and touch grass you don't need to touch grass you need to roll around in it for hours and hours and hours you need to turn off your computer you need to get out of your front door and maybe mosey on into town go to the supermarket that's quite a social place and then park yourself in one of the areas maybe the cucumber section and the cabbage section and then when somebody comes up next to you just turn to them and go all right you okay that's called a social interaction something that I doubt any of you have had in years. Oh, this medium account previously identified that over 200 tweets, a whole 200? If I have two, two cans of monster a day, I could smash out 200 tweets on my own. Most of them retweets, admittedly, and uh, probably 15% to do with tits. But I could do it. But a whole 200 tweets. You really do expose yourself as pathetic. We have no sources and no evidence and nothing to extrapolate from. But trust me, bruh. And the only reason why I'm actually discussing this article and giving you any sort of uh, fresh air is because I find it so laughably pathetic it's fun to bring things like this up, point the finger, and laugh at the deranged, crazy people. Because some of us don't like something you might like, and it drives you insane. That's not good for your mental health, I'm just saying. You know, if something like this really gets you to the point where you just spurg, have a massive spurg, on the page of nothing meaningless drivel and charts and stuff you've got problems you have got problems reach out to a friend to a family member to a colleague to a therapist that drove conversation against star wars's defense of ingram half of those tweets came from twitter users who followed at least three accounts associated with a loosely organized group of youtubers who dub themselves the fan that we don't no 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 we don't there was a, a piece on um infowars recently which is actually quite complimentary to channels like mine and and uh geeks and gamers and nerd Rodic and uh, others uh, who talk uh, and speak out against you know fucking idiots like you and most importantly, speak truth to power. With people sat in a room 
in our houses with a webcam, a nice microphone so you guys can get some audio. I'm not pretty to look at. I understand that. But it's all that I've got. And the gift of the gab is the only thing that I truly have. And I'm doing it to talk to billion dollar corporations. Billion dollar corporations, if not trillion dollar corporations. Oh, poor billion and trillion dollar corporation. That one dude who's speaking out about what you're creating in the room in his house is saying some things which you might not like. Boo fucking who? Do you hear how mad you are? How insane you actually are? You're crazy, legit, mentally ill, crazy. And the best thing is, you think these corporations give a shit about you? They don't give a shit about you. They're using you. They're using you to do this because they, if they do it directly, they're going to get a lot of flack from a lot of people. So they have to use uh, malleable fucking idiots like you who think they are making you feel special and then you create something like this. They don't give two shits about you. You fucking idiot. Yes, I said flucking. Uh, blah, 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 blah. These YouTubers who make up a sizable following of Twitter followers driving harassment. No, there's no harassment. Criticism is not harassment, you pissant. Criticism is something that we're allowed to do. I pay my Amazon Prime money. I have every fucking right to criticize what I'm being given as so-called entertainment. Every single solitary right. It's not harassment to say, I think the writing is pathetic. It's not harassment to say, I think that the acting is pathetic. It's not harassment to say, the editing, the cinematography is poor. It's not harassment. It's criticism, which I'm allowed to do. And get the fuck over it, you fragile snowflake. We have an actor, an actress in the show who's meant to be a badass that's talking about, I had to get therapy when I did a fake fight. Oh, Jesus Christ. A network analyze a network analysis of the three of the 347 Twitter users leading the negative engagement mentioning rings of power referenced as negative accounts revealed that nearly half of the accounts they follow are YouTubers. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Here we go. So we've got like Elon Musk and uh, Star Wars and Marvel. You know, those, uh, <laughs> those terrible, terrible channels. We got Libs of TikTok, Joe Rogan, who was uh, recently taken. So, okay, here's one for you. Joe Rogan was the butt of, a, of a, an attempted joke in She-Hulk today, which didn't work. Uh, so was that She-Hulk harassing Joe Rogan? By your own definition, it is. By your own definition, it is. Because they decided to make him the butt of a joke. That's harassment according to you. Fucking pathetic. Uh, SpaceX. Elon Musk. Uh, Zuby. Wonderful Zuby. JK Rowling's been drafted into this. Defiant L's. Some good cat turd. Some good company here. NASA. You know that white supremacist organization, NASA. So let's just have a look who's around here. Well, we got uh, oh, Alex Stein, 99. Uh, we got Drunk3PO. Subscribe to Drunk3PO because he won't do anything to fucking boost his followers. Love you, Jay. Uh, moi, Ryan. Hey, Ryan and I are chilling out together, probably having a beer, discussing how fucking pathetic this article is. Jeremy's over here uh, trying to work the room. Good lad. He's up to Ted Cruz, probably telling him that he's a dickhead. Uh, Molly, uh, Gary, Stephen Crowder, Critical Drinker, Eric July, killing it. Killing it with Isom. Three days left. Go to the website, ripperverse.com. Buy that comic. Buy it to pieces. Exude Girl. Oh, you know that, that female Asian white supremacist. <laughs> 
We follow some of these accounts. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's crazy. Crazy. Now let's have a look at this. Positive accounts mentioning Lord of the Rings. Oh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden, the White House, Chris Evans, Disney Plus, Brie Larson, James Gunn, Kamala Harris, POTUS, Floatus. So what you're trying to say is by these, uh, by this, this, this evidence, I don't know what you want to call it. I just call it fucking retardation. Uh, Hollywood, uh, decided to review its own work and found itself to be amazing. Meanwhile, customers who are paying for said work reviewed said work and decided not so good. It wasn't so good. This is uh, unfucking believable <clears throat> And then we go down here. Uh, am I here? No, 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 no. Not interested then. Uh, we got some, so we got here some screenshots. Oh my goodness me, betrayed. Oh, that terrible white supremacist work. Uh, only racists don't like this. That's what they've been telling us. Uh, media claims Tolkien was a racist. That's what you've said. Uh, the media I'm talking about. Uh, female Gandalf, stop. Fans hate this. Oh, that's, oh, so inflammatory, Ryan. Pathetic. And then if we go further down here, we've got some tweets. Screw that. I'm going to get to me. I want to get to me. Here we go. Right down at the bottom here. Accounts followed. Percentage of distinct negative accounts following them. So let's have a look. The critical drinker has, has a 27% rate of negative accounts following him, which means he has a 73% rate of positive accounts. That's good. So nearly 75% of all the people, uh, according to your data, that, that follow the critical drinker is classed as a positive account. If these are the negatives, uh, how many did I get? Uh, hot toys, c'est moi. 15% of the people that follow me are, are negative. So that's 85% are positive. Wow, that's uh, that's great. So this this uh, this this actually shows that all the people who are critical of Disney, Marvel, everything, actually have a predominantly positive audience that follow them uh, and listen to their critiques as potentially valid. Thank you very much for that uh, information. Uh, don't worry about that. So I'm done. So that's all I need to know. Right. So there you go. The the ne the latest pathetic hit piece uh, is absolutely pathetic. Kel surprise. See you in the next video. Bye for now.